Nice. Nice charger sound also. All right, so it's time to do an unboxing or maybe unboxing is not the right term because it's neither a new thing or a box. It's a bag with a vintage camera. Actually, it's a whole set for a vintage camera, which is actually quite rare to find nowadays, but I have a very good secret source for finding such awesome things. So thanks for that. Uh, yeah, so at least I know there is a Canon A1 here. I'm quite curious to see if it works, no idea, but let's open the bag and check. Quite stiff. Main compartment. Let's see. First thing that comes out is a lens. It is a Tamron Adaptol 28 to 50 millimeter, 3.5 to 4.5. Yeah. Okay, that's the first thing. And then there is a remote cable release for if you're gonna do like bulb mode or if you don't wanna shake the camera by taking a picture. Um, then flash, yeah. Uh, a <laughs> it's a thing for actually connecting the flash to the camera. And the camera itself, the Canon AU-1. It has a Tamron 70 to 210 lens on it. Yeah, Daptol also. And yeah, it, it, it's quite worn on the, on the underside, so this camera has definitely seen a few things. Yeah. Is there anything more? Uh, lens cap. Uh, a bag for one of the lenses, or no, it's... Ah, actually, on, on this camera there is a, an extender, a uh, tele-extender, so... This bag is for the tele-extender. Uh, I guess it's the body cap and lens cap. Mm, for cleaning lenses, but it should be like an air pump connected to this, so... Anyway, and synchronization cables for the flash. This is quite a <laughs> quite a good one. If it wouldn't escape me all the time. Small compartments. Uh, here is a strap. One more strap. It can stay in there. Ah, yeah. oh, that compartment is empty. Let's put the bag aside and arrange a little bit better here. Camera and stuff. So the first thing I want to do is to check if this camera works. Um, yeah, this Canon AE have this breech lock uh, fastening, so it need to. It's not a button to press. It's like turn like this. I have actually used a Canon AE one before. Not uh, it was like a silver model, but yeah, they are quite actually quite nice cameras. Not bad at all. It should fire without the battery. So let's see if you have any action. Yeah. Okay, or maybe there is still power in the battery, actually I didn't consider that. There is still power in the battery, hmm. Well, that's nice. So I will put on the lens. 28 to 50 it was. Quite nice viewfinder in this camera. Uh, it's on manual, it says... Uh, I'll put it in automatic and see what it does. This camera is um, equipped with an like, electronically controlled shutter, so you have full auto exposure if you want. Alright, now it. Yeah, the light meter works. Still power in the battery and everything. Hmm. Nice. Nice shutter sound also. Seems to be working just fine. I don't, just don't know how to use the auto exposure on this. I would not use it anyway. I use manual mode usually. So, in any case, let's have a look in, inside. Hope there's not a film. No, there is no film. It seems quite clean, actually. Yeah, the shutter looks looks intact and everything. Only the light seals are not very nice. They are a bit sticky. I can tell. Need to clean away the old one and replace them. Let's check the shutter from here too. Yeah, yes. Let's look a bit closer at these lenses that came with it. So these are the Tamron Adaptol, or Adaptol 2. So 
the, the thing with this adapter is that you can uh, ha you have an adapter for them which, so you can use them on basically any SLR camera from that time period. So I can use them on my Nikon cameras for example or even my digital Fuji camera. So, so this is a zoom lens or they are both zoom lenses but the early, early zooms don't have that good of a reputation. So let's have a look at the second lens. Uh, it is a camera on 70 to 210 millimeter zoom. I can also test this one of course and it has some macro mode and this yeah, this teleconverter is, is attached to it. So whoever had this camera was uh, like to take pictures from a long distance. Maybe they were photographing birds. Right, and the flash, well, it's uh, it just has an on and off button and a test button. So, but in any case, there's a scale on the backside so you can calculate your exposure settings on the camera. Yeah, quite standard stuff from the time. And I think this camera was produced from 1976 to 84. So that era's technology. Oh, now I actually noticed there is manual and auto function on this. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> Maybe I should even try the auto function. I can use this on any camera, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is and now it looks like this. <laughs> Quite a bit clumsy setup, I have to say, but it's actually good though. You can get uh, in the way that you can get um, flashed a bit away from the lens. And it... yeah, you can use this to rotate it up towards the ceiling. I would say, yeah. So this is not bad at all. I mean, you can get quite good light from this, at least for a run and gun situation. <laughs> say. Before we can actually use the flash, we need to attach the sync cable. Oh, does this become too clumsy now or where is the port? There is, where is the port for it? Ah, oh, there. That's sort of a setup. <laughs> Looks very cool. Yeah, yeah. Definitely want to try it like this also. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun, fun camera stuff to try. It's a whole set. Need we some... have a guest. Oh, we have a wasp. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. Still holds on. You can open it like that. Oh, okay? it like it can stay there. We can have some. Uh, we can have some ambient sound of birds. Yeah, I got. Oh, a reflection from the door. <laughs> In any case, it's 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 fine. It was fine. It was fine. Like this. It's yeah, yeah. Better. It's okay. The the wasp will probably find its way out. Right. Where were we? Right, I will take pictures with this camera, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, but first it needs to be clean, the lens is quite dirty and it smells a bit funny too. And the light seals need to be replaced, I'm not quite sure where I can find the material for that, but could not let them be also. I mean, it's a bit gooey, but they will stay where they are. <laughs> but everything seems to be working and yeah, I guess I'll go out and take some photos and yeah, make a video about how it is to use this camera, it seems quite quite promising and as I said I've used one of these before but it was a few years ago and um, yeah I'm curious to see how this unit performs yeah I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did <laughs> it's always nice to explore new camera gear anyway thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye oh the boss went <laughs> perfectly perfect timing